Hello everybody, it is Narrative Tarot. I'm here for the March 2021 reading for Sun. So this is for people who have significant Sun aspects in their natal chart or are um, Leo dominant or heavily aspected Leo in their chart. So this is for you guys. So comment, like, subscribe. Commenting, liking just helps populate the video. It gets recommended to more people, things like that. Commenting just builds engagement. And then subscribing just keeps you in the loop. So I do uh, planet readings, I do redemption readings, book reviews, other readings that I'm working on, and then general talks and discussions about things, musings. So definitely subscribe so you stay in the know with that and um yeah that way you'll kind of know what's going on so let's see what the message is now i was trying to build up the energy for sun march 2021 and a lot of water cars were coming through so So it's indicating that like we're in Pisces season. So like that was helpful. And then a lot of fire came out too. So in March, the sun literally is going into Pisces and Aries. So, so it's to be expected. Okay. So this is the upper world and the lower world. So these are the upper world and the bottom cards of the lower world. So generally each pair of cards is one story or it could fit into a whole narrative with the, all of the pairs combined. But what I find is that it's its own story. So this is the first reading and there will be a second reading using another deck this deck is the sun and moon tarot and yeah so we have ten of pentacles and the ten of cups so equal practicality and esotericism like um i was gonna say eroticism but there's equal parts in this um you might need to be striking a balance with that but if you guys are watching this then you're probably more balanced now you might be more balanced than you think you might be more balanced than you want to be if you feel like you're bored at this time because the ten of pentacles is really like really quite stable and things like that you may feel like you're bored and um you know when people get bored they tend to do things that like shake things up but it's like you don't need to because that's when you actually get in trouble and you actually fuck everything up so if you're stable stay stable it's not that you can't have fun but stay stable so make sure if you have stable relationships don't cause any drama stable jobs don't quit them stable emotions don't seek to shake it up this isn't the month to shake things up. You're in Pisces season, then you're in Aries season. So like that Piscean energy could be quite confusing for people who aren't able to like um, handle handle this ten of cu this ten of cups and this ten of pentacles, but particularly this ten of pentacles. And so they're they're trying to figure out what's the dissatisfaction, like trying to make something to be dissatisfied about. But it's kind of like, don't try it because when it's all over in Aries season, you might just be ass out and it might, people, you may be poking people in the first half of March and then the second half is when they start poking you, but it ends up disastrous for you because you end up kind of ass out of the situation and losing and you might have a soil of reputation behind that or whatever. Now also with this when it comes to going out and stuff like that just make sure that your experiences are ones that you really want and that they're quality experiences so 
not saying like judge the experience by its price but if it's like a hole in the wall establishment depending on where you are and what's open but if it's like a hole in the wall establishment in an unsafe neighborhood with a bunch of like rowdy people like you pull up and it looks really unsafe people are looking around like the general aura and vibe of the place isn't so great then maybe skip on that and spend it on a $40 experience somewhere else you know what I'm saying like that $40 kind of shows that you're a little more invested in the situation and therefore you're a little more invested in acting a certain way to make sure that the experience is as pleasurable as it can be and the people around you are as well so that's the thing it's they're invested in making sure they have the best time possible so generally people appreciate things generally when you have to put money into it so if you have to pay forty dollars as opposed to four dollars then you might appreciate the experience a little bit more and you know you might enter a class of or a group of people that are kind of more aligned with who you are and kind of are more like you in terms of their stable right so going to places where there are stable people where there is stability will help you particularly in the first half of march and then airy season it's because of that stability that you're able to see clearly everything that is going on versus investing in very unstable people places things and then halfway through the month having to deal with the repercussions of that that's not where you want to go that's not where you want to be so make sure that you're not um, pushing yourself towards instability in the later half of the month you want to push yourself towards stability and that means investing a little bit more money or a little bit more effort a little bit more energy into it and you'll be sure to get it out because you put it in so that's what I have to say about that Next, we have the Ace of Swords. Ooh. <laughs> the Ace of Swords with the Prince of Cups. So with this, definitely make sure that the things that are coming towards you are good intention, good natured, lighthearted, and fun. This isn't a time, I feel like, to really bog yourself down. One, we're in March, so it's kind of like the transition between seasons anyway. So things might be shifting in and out. We're coming out of Mercury retrograde in March. So like the first week or so of March anyway is us kind of transitioning with that. Then, you know, uh, daylight savings or whatever it's called is popping up. And so we're losing an hour and then spring comes. <clears throat> and so all of this stuff is happening. So you just want to make sure that you're investing in like this pile things that is stable and that people that are coming towards you are stable as well so just make sure that you have the clarity you know what you want you know what you don't want but particularly you know the experiences of how you want to feel so if you know that you want to feel fulfilled enlightened bright you need to make sure that the stuff that comes towards you isn't illusory particularly in the first half right the first half of March is going to be really, really, really important for you guys. Even though you're, you may have dominant, like Leo, like I said, it could be for people with dominant Leo on the chart. Because the month splits, every month splits, that energy is like half and half, right? So, or two thirds and one third. And you just want to make sure that with that energy, you're able to deal with both. So you need to be able to deal with both clearly honestly with yourself and then with other people so make sure with this prince of cups that everything is just stable everything is stable but particularly your mental state so that you're consistent what you want in the beginning of the month is what you want at the end of the month the obstacles may look different <clears throat> the way the people may look different but you are constant in what you want and so you're able to maneuver your way through 
better and you're not as deterred you don't fall into so many pitfalls as someone whose mind may be like really changeable i feel like that was a lot to say like nothing <laughs> then we have the six of cups with the eight of cups so in the lower world just make sure that you're not seeking like easier options so this could be with like people if you're not getting what you want you're like not settling i'm not gonna say settling but you um you go towards the easier option like and the easier option is usually like your motive like rooted in a motive that's kind of manipulative so just or some illusion of what you think but just kind of like a manipulative kind of reason so make sure that your reasons for doing things are clear make sure that your reasons are kind of noble um moral and that you're not leaving things or people high and dry because you feel like you can get something better with the grass is greener kind of syndrome because that might bite you in the ass particularly because it's people that do matter to you and do care about you as well you don't want to break those relationships or hurt people because you're ditching them for something better and when you finally get it it may not be better or when you reach this like pinnacle or whatever you may feel like man like i can't even celebrate it with anyone because there's no one around me anymore that i really care about so it's keeping the people who mean something to you close to you during this journey and not just leaving everybody high and dry if you have to leave people behind let it be for a good reason um but don't let it be because like money over everything or something like that like make sure that your reasons are cool be open and honest like if you can't communicate with people as much because you're working more or you're in school or something's coming up or you're having a rough emotional time like say that instead of just like going cold on people people will appreciate it particularly in the long run because this shows that you're communicating with people and you you're able to be open with them and that's something with the six of cups that you need to be you need to be open and honest with people and that's how you develop really long term relationships as well as just being consistent in general with that and people are okay with you not having like the best day ever um but you need to like <laughs> You need to like be open and honest, essentially. And with this indolence or indolence, um, just make sure that you are putting in the necessary emotional work on yourself. That you, the, it's the work that you don't have to tell people about, but making sure that you put it in on yourself will go a long way because you're sitting there working on yourself and looking to see progress within yourself even if no one is around you can see progress in yourself and you can be open and honest with yourself if no one's around but if people are around be open and honest and then lastly we have the ace of pentacles four of cups in the real world with the queen of cups so ace of pentacles don't let anything stop your money um if you have medical issues make sure that you take the appropriate like method for taking off of work don't quit don't um call out a lot just make sure go through every resource available to you provided by that job or by law or whatever that it is because it's like you cut corners because you feel emotionally incapable of dealing with the situation it might bite you in the ass later and it might really affect this ace of pentacles later on because people might take it as you didn't even try to do the basics you know what i'm saying you didn't even try to like write write us or put in the slip to go or do something like that like put in the effort and you will get it out like even if your boss or whatever the job is just like you can't take the whole day off but you can come in like half day or something like that or you can take the day off but you do have to make it up 
take that option as opposed to just like not showing up so don't be so i was going to say kind of stubborn in a way with even if it's though it's a queen of cups this four of cups is like stubborn just a little bit so make sure that you're not being stubborn make sure you're not trying to get over on your company either when it comes to that like calling out and stuff like that have some respect for your business i said this in like the neptune i think like it's like i think we've all had that one business that one job where like nobody respected the business <laughs> nobody respected the business but it's just like it's just like you kind of feed off of like what they're willing to put up with and so like if they're willing to put up with everything then you just kind of roll with it but like have that sort of inner i was gonna say compassion for them that that inner like discipline to not do that because if you become a business owner like how would you like it if everybody was just calling off and giving you no notice or 20 minutes notice or something like that and you have a whole shift to fulfill you know what i'm saying so just make sure that you're able to do that and make sure that you're able to like um communicate that and if it's something where you can't communicate that without it being a huge issue because people do have children they get sick they you know now with covid and stuff like that people have to really find like people to watch you know particularly if you watch their children while they go to school because they're virtual or maybe they are going to school i don't know but if you're working outside of the home you know what i'm saying like not everyone has two parents not everyone has like a grandparent a sibling a cousin or something like that like some people really are kind of ass out so you know being appreciative of that and then also really just trying to seek out any way that you can um fix this and get it situated so don't give up on it i feel like i lost my train of thought with that but that's what it is make sure that nothing comes in between you and the money and just make sure that you have the best plan that you can and then the best plan that you can like works out so if your job is kind of really inflexible then maybe it is time to kind of leave it for something better but make sure that you have like a good plan and it's not based on like your whims it's based off of like this is actual facts that in the policy i'm not able to do this 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 and this and then just write down what you need in your next thing and have a list of not demands but a list of things that like this business must take off so if you're applying for corporate or something like that or whatever job if they have like guidelines on the website already or policy guidelines and stuff like that or if you can find it or call them or something like that like ask for that go ahead and do that so you won't be like you know you won't be ass out so that was part one. Oh no that's part one hold on for a second sorry guys i had to pick up cards and i had to pour some coffee This is the second part of the reading. Forgive me, y'all. Better. All right, cool. Second part. Now we're using the Lover's Tarot. And really, it's just going to be like one card. Maybe two, but it's two. Uh, <laughs> We have the sun and judgment so we have the sun these are big ass cards like by the way and then judgment i feel like with the sun and judgment you can really just make this one card not that like not like r really but for the situation at hand like you really could do one thing so if you're trying to do one Try to do two things. See if you can consolidate into one. So like ask your work department or whatever if you can consolidate 
all of this into one because it might just work out better because like literally the whole composition looks the same don't it they both look the same kind of they both got something in the central they both got people at the bottom the only thing that's missing is really the range the mountain range that's it so this month if you can get I'm not gonna say get away with but if you can get by with doing something that may may have one or two things off but still gets essentially everything done like the essentials done go ahead and do that instead because literally you have xix and then xx literally it's like one thing that's off so if you if you can just do five things instead of six but those five things are essential to your business or essential to your relationship or essential to your self-care go ahead and do that rather you do the five out of six and just miss one than zero out of six or one out of six and then it kind of feels like a harsh judgment against yourself because you feel like oh I didn't hit all the boxes versus when you get the majority of it done you feel like oh, okay I didn't get that one done but you know let's see if I can do it next time tack it on to something else critically assess if it's really important this could be like going through your ledgers or something like that like do you really need to file something this way you know what I'm saying is that a critical step to your organization filing it in this file cabinet this specific way can I do it digitally you know what I'm saying like can you consolidate steps can I do it digitally with a third party so I don't even have to have the storage can I you know can I pay someone to store digitally like things like that just make sure that if you um if you can consolidate just go ahead and do that yeah just go ahead and do that and even with this too if you can do it on your own and manage it versus other people because this is like other this is like angels and stuff like that and this is just i would consider this just your face um if you can oh, coordinates i just want to make sure yeah i am all right cool for me i don't know why i thought i wasn't recording this but if you can do this yourself without other people go ahead and do it or you might feel better giving it to a third party or a second party or whatever and having them take care of it right and this might also be you know when you have certain people that are always making judgments about the shit that you do maybe it's time for them to take the responsibility on so they can see how it works like you know if you this this sounds so passive aggressive but like if you work somewhere and you got that one person in the office that thinks that they can do your job better that maybe talk to the boss about can you give this job to them for like one month to see or something like that it might just work and they might just shut the hell up after that because I don't know what it is about people like that like I don't think I ever did that because I never wanted to take on other people's work that did happen to me because I was complaining about something and a lady the manager gave me that work but it was just like you're trying to punish this is about me anyway you're trying to punish me by me saying hey don't give me this work like in such a short notice I was like well it's high speed and stuff like that I was like yeah but if you know me trying to plead a case with y'all but if you know that let's say 11 o'clock it gets rushed but by 10 30 you already had like all this work piled up 10 30 tell me and then you don't have to wait till 11 when even more stuff comes in you know what i'm saying like i have actual logic <laughs> i 
to working on jobs like and I think and I think this is something that needs to happen more with jobs they need to have cross trainings and stuff like that so people from different departments actually like know what it's like to work in other departments so that might be something that you need so if you're complaining about other departments like take on that responsibility if it's offered to you so you can actually learn and then like shut the fuck up with your complaining or like have someone who like is given that you know so second reading damn like really like these pictures are looking the same we have the world and the wheel of fortune Low key, this is like, you to me, this is all about you. But look, it looks the same, doesn't it? The exact same. So the message is clear. Like, the message is clear. Now, with this, you might, with the world and the Wheel of Fortune, with this, the difference is a little bit more. So the stakes are a little bit higher with this. Excuse me. I ain't noticed. And then, they didn't even change the, uh... The icons. Look at the icons and the corners. They ain't even changing. Damn. Cheap. Anyway. But like this one, you have to put a little bit more effort in and be a little more cautious with regards to what you do and don't do. Like it's a lot harder with the wheel of fortune in the world. It seems like the stakes are a lot hard a lot higher and it is more um effort involved and it might be more people involved with this one so this is where you won't have to break up everything so you have to take a portion and someone else has to take a portion now don't get to fighting over which portion you know what i'm saying is higher because this one is 10 and this one is 21 which will leave it with 11 don't be that one person that if there was 11 tasks you did five and someone did six or you did six and they did five somebody goes running to the boss about I did more and I did this and I did that I can tell you that too from a job like I like things pretty even I don't like things being way off balance and you might be like me because I do have heavy Leo in my chart we're not heavy Leo but like a planet like my moon but don't be like that person who does tip or tat or something like that like nobody likes that bitch either at the job so just make sure you do your job make sure that it's even make sure you pull your fair share if you're not able to make sure there are arrangements up front make sure you're upfront about that if you can't complete something make sure you give everybody on the team adequate notice adequate time to finish it because nobody likes somebody that calls out the day before something or mysteriously isn't there the day of particularly things like college where you used to do projects with people and it would be that one motherfucker that like don't do the work show up at the day of and then is like fumbling the whole project but then you all split the credit like that no so if any of this shit is coming up for you make sure that you split it evenly let people know be text people back and forth communicate and also if you feel like you um you are partnering with people who like suck make the best out of the situation and also don't judge people too harshly because it might turn out a lot better than you think and actually their perception could be that you're the one that's holding the whole team down and it might not be your work it might be your attitude i've been there too <laughs> So I have a good attitude about things as well. So if things aren't going your way in March, if the projects are fucked up, the people are fucked up, keep a good attitude because at least you can say you never got out of character. You never can say that you were rude or you were bully or you didn't pull your job or whatever. Do the opposite of everything I have done and it will serve you well. <laughs> but that's it i hope that you enjoyed this reading i hope that you found anything helpful 
please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in one of the other readings if you choose to do planet readings, if you choose to do book reviews or whatever, or in the month of April. So thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.